get all this little ice. But as you look at the ice, the general term for any ice that is broken off of the glacier is called an iceberg. But we actually have names for the for different types of icebergs depending on how much ice is above the water surface. So if it's from zero to three feet above the water surface, it's called brash ice. So we're going through a lot of brash ice right here. That's a nice bird. A bird coming out the bow as well. If it's from three to seven feet, it's called growler ice. If it's from seven to fifteen feet, it's called bird and if it's more than 15 feet above the water surface, then it's officially called an iceberg. Really, on a clear day like today, this getting some great shots of birds as well as their reflection in the water. Well, now at the right side, if you look at our uh, like our four and five o'clock position, you see that third glacier that came into view. So we're going from left to right, it's Cascade, Berry Glacier in the middle, and Cox Glacier on the right. Oh, I love that. All those birds that were riding on the ice bird. So I hope you make, label your pictures, birds on birds. Got our ice bird with the birds riding on the Cascade, Berry, and Cox. Those were the three glaciers that 112 years ago were all connected and coming across this arm of Caramon's of, uh, door. Now directly in front of us, again, great reflection in the water of the glacier. Right at our 12 o'clock position is the Prize Glacier. And you notice that big gray stripe down the middle of the glacier. That's all the gray stuff you see on the glacier is rock. The glacier serves as a bulldozer, as a conveyor belt, and then we add as a serious blender. It's such a serious blender, it takes a mountain and it basically pulverizes it. And that's how it carves this big U-shaped valley. So the line in the middle of the glacier is a rock. That's called a beach. So if you see the rock on the outside edge, that's called lateral moraine, medial moraine in the middle. And if you look on the GPS, wherever you see it looks like a sandbar kind of coming out into the water, especially where some of the arms are located, those are terminal moraines. And a terminal moraine means the glacier goes as far as it's going to